I'm Dr. Fred Nelson with Southeastern Neurosurgical and Spine Institute and the Greenville Hospital System. I want to talk briefly this morning about anterior cervical discectomy infusion. This is one of our more common procedures. In this operation, what we do is approach the cervical spine from the front of the neck. We make an incision in the front of the neck down to the front of the spine and remove discs and bony spurs. By going through the front of the neck, this allows us to remove discs and spurs from away from the spinal cord. If we approached it posteriorly, we would have to pull these things around the spinal cord and we would risk damaging it. Therefore, going from the front of the neck allows us to pull things away from it and it's much, much safer. It also allows us to very easily do a fusion. The most common symptoms that we see uh, in which we do surgery on the neck for cervical disc disease is radiculopathy, that is, a pinched nerve in the neck causing pain, weakness, and numbness in either arm. The other symptom that we see is what we call myelopathy, that is, pressure on the spinal cord, which causes the spinal cord not to work as well as it should. This is usually manifest by also weakness and numbness in the arms, but also difficulty with the legs. Often patients will have spasticity, difficulty walking, generalized numbness, and bowel and bladder problems. In advanced cases, people almost develop a quadriparesis, that is weakness in their arms and their legs depending on where the disc or bony spur is. When we do surgery on the neck, uh, we really do not do this for neck pain. Uh, sometimes the neck pain does get better, but it's not enough for us to, to tell patients that that's one of our goals to this, is to relieve their neck pain. The complications of anterior cervical discectomy would include Increased weakness or numbness, uh, unfortunately not common. Uh, there's a risk of vocal cord damage uh, or vocal cord paralysis caused by damage to surrounding nerves. Again, this is certainly not common. Patients will tend to have some difficulty swallowing for a few weeks after surgery and some pain between their shoulder blades, which again uh, resolves after a few weeks. Um, this is one of our more common operations and I would say probably one of our more, our more successful operations. Thank you.